See, when a child is handicapped, either physically or even mentally, a child is not suffering, parents are suffering, isn't it? A child is incapable but not suffering. Have you noticed this? Even a mentally handicapped child, he is not suffering. Actually, he is more free of suffering than a lot of other children. <laughs> but parents are suffering because their child is not like somebody else's child. It's a parent who is suffering because the parent knows the consequence of this child living in the society. He doesn't have certain capabilities, what will happen to him tomorrow. With these concerns, the parent is suffering. Isn't it so? The child is not suffering. The child is incapable. Handicapped means just that. Handicapped, the word itself says that. So, a handicap has come, why? A certain manufacturing defect, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? All this may sound very brutal to you, the way I'm talking. It's very brutal. But I didn't create this brutality. Life is like this, isn't it? Yes? Your creator is brutal, I'm only explaining his brutality. <laughs> I'm bringing clarity to his brutality. I did not create this brutality, isn't it? Yes or no? Somebody is born with half a brain, I didn't create it. But if you are saying this is the work of the creator, this is creator's brutality. Either you see it the way it is and see what we can do out of it or you don't see it. Today, we no more call them as handicapped children, we call them special children. They're special because they're not like other children, they're different. That's a good way to look at it. They're special children. It is just that because you're comparing the child to some other child, you're thinking it is handicapped. Otherwise, it is a special child. Suppose, do you know, you're printing currency notes. All hundred rupee notes are supposed to be one way except the number. But one hundred rupee note went crazy like this. Do you know a collector would pay a million, million rupees to buy that hundred rupee note? It's a special currency note, a freaky one. You can't buy anything out of it, but still it is a special currency note. This is just like this. A child, something has gone, not, not the way it should go normally, it's gone some other way. You don't have to make everything into your suffering, that's what I'm saying. People who have normal children, who have all their limbs and everything in place, are they not suffering? Because the child is not listening to what you think they should do, you will suffer, isn't it? So your suffering has nothing to do with the handicap, nothing to do with well-being. Your suffering is just that if anything happens that you think should not happen, you will suffer. Or in other words, you want the whole existence to happen the way you think it should be, it will never be so. In what form it comes to you, it doesn't matter. It comes to you in the form of a handicapped child, it comes to you in the form of a ruined business, it comes to you in the form of death, sickness, which way it comes, it doesn't matter. But your demand is just this, existence should happen according to your will. It will not happen that way. If the whole existence goes according to your will, no, suppose it goes according to your will, yes, the whole existence goes according to your will, Seema, where should I go? It should happen according to my will also, isn't it? So some things happen your way, something happen my way.